Okay, so let's take a look at how we can get started leveraging a tool like ChatGPT to help us as UDL practitioners. So if I am taking a look at the Lewis and Clark expedition, this is the prompt. And again, you've got the link to the slides in the video description, so you can try it out. You can amend the prompt where I am telling ChatGPT to be an expert in UDL, uh, that it's well-versed in inquiry-based learning, that it's going to collaborate with me on providing guidance for a formative assessment task. I give it the standard. I give it the formative assessment itself. Um, and basically I'm saying, I want you to create for me five ideas for how I can ensure that the formative assessment draws on the guidance of UDL. And I also ask it to explain back to me how that point specifically enhances student learning. So you can see what ChatGPT has provided to me. You can take a closer look at that um, by heading again over to those slides. But for me, the magic is always in going a little bit further. So after that prompt, staying within uh, the same conversation with ChatGPT, I then say, give me three formative assessment alternatives. As a brainstorming tool, again, UDL is about flexibility, about providing students with multiple pathways for them to demonstrate learning. It can be really difficult for me as an educator to come up with lots of different pathways, but ChatGPT is really good at brainstorming. That's one of its strengths. And it might not be that I take these and I copy paste. I take these, I bring them to my teaching partner. We've got a menu um, or I bring some of these to my class and we pick from the menu. The other way that I really like to use ChatGPT is to help me tune in to the interests of my students. Again, UDL is also about really knowing our community, leveraging their passions and ensuring that um, they are centered in the process. So this is a prompt that I would also encourage you to try out with ChatGPT, where I've said, create three different reasons why learning about the Lewis and Clark expedition is important today. Make links for students who are aspiring to either be an engineer, a small business owner, or a professional basketball coach. And I've asked it to give me that um, those reasons in language that's very accessible for students with dyslexia. And here is the explanations that it's come up with. Now, depending on your students and their aspirations and their goals, you might want to modify that prompt to see what ChatGPT comes up with. And then working on this, um, an experiment that I love doing with students is co-authoring a comic strip where I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create the text for the comic strip panels and we're actually gonna do the illustrations for it. So I built on that earlier request for the rationale and I asked ChatGPT to create both in English and in Spanish, the text for a five panel comic strip that again, demonstrates that connection between our learning and an interest in basketball. Then I would bring this to my students. I would say, you know, this is your rough draft for the text. This doesn't have to be your final copy. You can improve upon it. But in terms of having a starting point for creating your comic, here you go. For, I've got students who are also uh, really passionate about YouTube. Maybe I'm going to ask it to give me a rough draft script for making that connection in a 90 second YouTube uh, short. Uh, maybe I've got students who are really passionate uh, about historic speeches. Can you advocate for learning about any topic? Again, in this example, Lewis and Clark, connecting it to. Is it connecting it to uh, the Seattle Mariners and their history? Give me a speech in the voice of. I've got lots of different text types now for students to play around with. I've got lots of ideas, lots of possibilities. So hope you can play around with some of those prompts, copy them, make them more specific to your learners and see how this sets you up to do that UDL planning in a way that I think really saves us some time and some energy and helps us generate a lot of ideas um, to be thinking about 
where again, it would have taken me hours and hours to come up with all those ideas in the past, but my rough draft thinking now that's handled. Now it's on to me to use my expertise to hone into some of those ideas. And it saves me that time and energy so that I have it for my students, also for myself and for my family. Again, once more, the link to the slides that you saw, it's over there in the video description. If you try out any of these ideas, we would love to hear from you. Email address is also in the video description as well. Thanks for watching.